Hi everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. Thank you for joining me today and I'd like to share with you how I made this card hope just by using the stencils and the sprays. To do the background I'm going to be using the acrylic sprays Sun Yellow, Crumbery Red and then Emerald Green. I'm also going to be using one of the mica sprays Blue Moon which is a lovely blue with like a blue silver mica in it. For blending with I'm going to use Versafine Claire Monarch, Warm Breeze and then Purple Delight and that's to do all of my blending and with that I'm going to be using some of the new stencils so this one's the block print replenish with these lovely floating hearts in it and then I'm going to use words one stencil so we're going to be using the word hope and these lovely flowers. To do the flowers, I'm going to use some of this chalk acrylic paint. And then I'm going to use a white uniball pen just to do a bit of highlighting over the word hope. And then to finish it off, I'm going to use some liquid pearls. So I'm going to use this lovely cornflower blue and then white opal. Just to finish the card off to give it a bit of a 3D effect. And if I just hold this up, you'll be able to see those little dots from the liquid pearls. So let's get started for today's card I'm using a piece of card that is five by seven and I'm going to have that in a landscape way so I'm just going to gently spritz that with some water and then I'm going to use acrylic spray cranberry red so I'm just going to spray that just over our background. I'm going to use some of this lovely sun yellow. So I'm just going to spritz a bit of that in along with emerald green. So we're just going to have emerald green just random over our background. Then just a little bit of blue moon mica spray. So I'm just going to shake that up and then we're just going to spritz that just randomly over our card. One more spritzing with some water and then we're going to place a piece of card over the top. And then I'm just going to rub this just to get a nice print. So open that up give this a final rub and there's we have our beautiful background so I'm just going to dab those little pulls off and then we need to give this a good dry So this is the one that we did all the spraying onto and then we use this piece to take a print and I'm going to use this one for today's card. And I'm going to use one of the new stencils and this one's the block print. So I'm going to lay it onto my card and to blend with I'm going to use Versafine Claire Warm Breeze. So with my blending brush I'm now just going to gently just blend 
some of this onto the background. So I'm just going to keep having a look just to see how it's going. And then we can just blend that nicely. And then we're just going to do it a little bit down in this bottom left corner. And I think we can just do a little bit on the bottom right corner here. So we're just creating some interest to our background. I'm going to be using another new stencil and this one is Replenish with all of these beautiful floating hearts in it. So I'm just going to pop that into the top left corner and for blending with I'm going to use Versafine Claire Purple Delight. So with my blending brush I'm now just going to gently start to layer up another stencil onto our background. So I'm just lifting that up and seeing how it's looking. So I don't want it too heavy. So we're just going to bring that a little bit more down there. And then I'm just going to do some just around this area here. So I'm just going to go and start to blend some. And I'm just going to keep my eye out to see how it's going. Just keep checking that. There we go. I'm going to use words one stencil and I'm going to use this word hope. So I'm going to use the bottom of my stencil just so that I know it is straight and I'm going to get that roughly into the middle and for blending with I'm going to use Versafine Claire Monarch. So with my smoothie I'm just going to pick up this ink and then I'm just going to blend it through stencil so and then we're just going to get all of that making sure we get all of the corners or the points in the stencil from the letter so I'm just blending this now all through our stencil just so that we get a nice coverage. And if I just take that off, there we have our lovely word, hope. And I'm going to position this back over our word. All I'm going to do now is just lift it up a little bit from the words, just sliding it up a little bit and to the right. And now we can just gently just do a bit of highlighting. So I'm just going to go around here, around the letter O, then the P, and then the E. So we're just going to get those up and down there. And then we can just make this a bit stronger by just going back over just where we've been just so that we get some nice highlights on our letters. So we're just going to come across there. And then down the P. around this side and 
So now we can start to do some flowers. So I'm going to position that over our word. And I'm just going to use some chalk acrylics and I've already put some onto a lid. And all I'm going to do now is with a brush is just gently just paint this through the stencil. So we're just going to go around here just by painting these lovely little flowers. So we're just going to go holding this stencil down it's just so that we get these lovely edges. And I'm just using one of my old brushes to do this. So we're just going to dab that through. I'm going to come down to our next flower and do the same thing. So we're just going to paint or dabble so I'm just going to paint these lovely flowers onto our background So I'm just going to do this little one now, so I'm just going to quickly paint through this stencil. And I'm just, like I said, just using an old brush. And then we can lift this up. And there we have some beautiful flowers. And we're just going to turn my card around and just create some more of those beautiful happy flowers so I think we'll just go here and again I'm just now going to just dab this through the stencil just using an old paintbrush And there's our flowers all around the word hope. Then I'm just going to use an ivy Pasca pen. And then we can just do some random ones just around the edge. Yeah, so we can just do these. So we we'll just get these going around the, these flowers. So I've glued it onto some white card and now I'm going to trim it to one eighth of an inch just using my layer guide. So I'm now going to trim this all down. I'm 
And then I'm going to pop it onto some pink card. So I'm now going to just glue this and put that onto some lovely pink card. And I'm going to do the same border around here. So I'm going to do it at one eighth of an inch. And now we're just going to glue this onto our landscape card. So I'm just going to put some glue on here. Making sure my card opens the right way and then we're going to pop that into place. To finish off the card I'm going to use liquid pearls. So I've got here cornflower blue and white opal. So I'm going to start off by using the white opal and all I'm going to do now is just put that into the middle of some of the flowers. So we're just going to build that up and I'm just going to now put this in to the middle of all of the flowers. So I'm just going to turn the card around and then just add this to the middle of our flowers. Another bit here, another bit there. And you can just put this wherever you want to. So I'm just going to go around just adding these where So I'm just using the cornflower blue liquid pearls and now I'm just going to do some dots around the flowers just by using this lovely cornflower. And just by using those liquid pearls, it just adds a bit of dimension to your card. Thank you for watching. Please take care and I hopefully will see you all soon. Bye for now. Bye.